everybody. It's Trish here from Pinky's Farm. Today is Friday, and so you know that means it's hashtag Friday Sews. Um, I don't have a whole lot of sewing to show you, but I do have some project ideas that I want to run by you, and a one special project that I've picked up that's been sitting for a while that I want to finish. So I think that I'm going to start with that because that's really my favorite thing that's on my radar for the near future. And while I'm grabbing that, I want to say thank you to Jen from Today and Jen's. Thank you to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room. You think I would have said that for the millionth time and be able to say it correctly, but yeah, it doesn't just roll off the tongue sometimes. Okay, here's a project that I am excited to pick up again. See all that pretty colors of fabric? This is a gorgeous quilt front that I made, I'm thinking probably about 15 years ago. And I finally have figured out why it's been hiding from me for 15 years. And I believe that the reason is because we moved from that house and it got put in a box and it got stashed with a lot of other fabric. And then we moved a second time to the house that we live in now. And I think during that move, it just got shoved, you know, in a box. And I was recently working on a D-stash and I found it and I just fell in love with it all over again. Like that is just such a beautiful collection of fabrics. Now this fabric is designed by Anna Maria Horner. She's a fabric designer. I've always loved all of her prints. I still love all of her prints. I still buy her fabrics. She makes high quality fabrics and beautiful. Um, and so this, this line, this fabric line is called Chocolate Lollipop. And I mean, is that the most perfect name for this line, Chocolate Lollipop? She couldn't have come up with something more apropos, in my opinion, than that. I mean, just the name alone makes me wanna sew it. But I mostly love the colors. I've done a lot of piecing work on here. I've done a lot of just, this was my own design. And um, I'm excited because I'm gonna finish this for my bed for when the fat, whenever the, not the fabric changes, when the weather changes. Um, I love a cozy quilt when the weather is cool. And I know it's gonna be a long time till it's cool here, but I'm gonna be prepared when it does. I plan to put a beautiful flannel on the back of this um, I almost always put flannel on the back of my quilts. And the reason that I do that is because I find it to be very soft and cozy. And I just kind of like a planer side or a solid of some kind on the back of my quilts. And so flannel is the way to go for me. I almost always use that. So that is my very favorite work in process right now. And I can't wait to show y'all the finished product. I've got to decide how I'm gonna bind it. I've got to find the fabric for the back. Now, I know I told you guys that I was going to make this. I was going to make this, and I was going to use this fabric. But, I heard on the news this morning that our weather might be changing a little bit. And um, it's going to get all the way down into the lower 80s. Now, that doesn't sound very cool to most people, but for us here in Florida, if it stays in the low 80s, even through Christmas or so, that's just exciting because that's just cool enough in the evenings that, you know, you might want like a little sweater, not a sweater, maybe a sleeve. Maybe you want to wear something with a sleeve in the evening, but it's, it's not blanket snuggle weather or anything like that. There's that hair again. It does not know where to go. But anyways, I was thinking, well, maybe instead of making that McCall's 82, 81 dress, maybe I would make a couple sweatshirts because I am going to North Carolina in about 26 days, but who's counting? Anyways, um, I'm looking forward to my fall trip to North Carolina and I thought I might make some sweatshirts and I have a couple of fabrics here that I thought would be really good. These are French Terry. And I thought this one was really pretty and I thought it would go really good with blue jeans. I have a pair of dark jeans and I thought that would be really cute with it. And um, it's a kind of a medium weight French terry, so it would be great for 
you know, a big loose sweatshirt, the kind of thing you would want to wear to the movies or, you know, throw over a shirt that you're wearing just for warmth for early in the day. And I also have this piece. This is a little bit thinner of a French terry. And um, it already looks kind of denim-y, doesn't it? I have some khaki jeans and pants. I thought might be cute with those, but it would definitely be cute with my light wash jeans. So those are on my radar for um, the possibility for sewing this week. I would like to get at least one thing made this next week. There is a lot going on in my life and um, I've been having a lot of appointments and I've been busy, but I'm gonna take a time out, especially if the weather cools. I'm so excited about that. Um, I was shopping at a thrift store with my mom and my sister not long ago and I came across this cute pattern and I kind of immediately thought of Jen when I saw it because she's been making some really cute skirts lately. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but she's made quite a few cute skirts. And my I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, that just reminds me so much of Jen. And I may yet end up sending this pattern to her. I picked it up. I haven't even looked to see if it's cut, if it's factory folded. It looks like it's still factory folded. But I just thought this skirt was so cute right here. Come on, focus for me. Is it focusing? The setting that I have my phone on is not letting me focus things very well. But it's this one right here. It's got little pleats in the front. And then the back just has a waistband and a zipper. And But I just thought the shape of that was really cute. And um, there's one, two, three, four, five skirts on this pattern cover. And every one of them are cute. I would go more for the flared skirt and I would make it longer, like closer to knee length. But these are cute too. I just, I don't wear a pencil skirt style very much anymore. In fact, I don't wear any skirts very much anymore. I'm a dress girl. Now today I do have shorts on because it's gonna be one of our hottest days in the near future. But um, yeah, so who knows? I might just pull out some pretty fabric and work on that skirt coming up. But mainly it's the sweatshirts and the quilt that I wanna work on. I did do some rearranging in my fabric room, uh, in my sewing room, because one of my stupid outlets just sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't. And my husband has tried to fix it and he'll go, okay, I got it all fixed for you. And then I'll go to plug my iron in and nothing. And he has tried to chase this electrical problem down and he can't seem to find the culprit. So I guess I'm gonna have to call in a professional to figure this out for me because I need my outlets to work in here. So right now I have almost everything going into one little area and I'm probably gonna blow the house up doing that. But anyway, at least I will have had something sewn. Um, so I've got things rearranged and I'm getting ready to do a big D-stash. Now you may remember, and I'll try to link it in the description box below if I remember, but you may remember a while back last year, Jen came to my house and um, we did a lot of fun stuff, but one of the things we did was quite a bit of work and that was de-stashing my fabric. And it was difficult. I, you know, I had a hard time letting stuff go, but I was realistic with myself and she was realistic with me, which helped a lot. She didn't coddle me through it. She's like, it's up to you, but if you think you're going to use it, if you think you're not, why are you wasting space? And um, I got rid of a lot of old fabric. And, you know, I think as I've aged, definitely my taste in fabric has changed. Um, I have a lot less, believe it or not, I have a lot less juvenile prints. I still like some juvenile prints, don't get me wrong. But I have a lot less of those. And um, I think you know, the type of projects that I make has changed. So I'm making a lot more apparel than I was crafty stuff. So I need larger cuts of fabric so I can let some smaller cuts go. And also I think just the quality of fabric that I'm attracted to now is much better than the quality that I used to use when I was younger. Um, back then I would use any fabric I could find because I was just doing crafty stuff. With apparel, you need quality fabric that falls correctly, that irons nicely, that, you know, is going to hold up with wear and tear. And so, because of all those reasons, I've decided to do another de-stash. And the guy that is the bug sprayer for out here on the farm, when he comes in the house to spray, 
he always goes through my fabric room, of course, my sewing room. I don't know why I call it the fabric room, probably because that's mostly what's in here, but he walks through the sewing room and he always mentions that his wife is a brand new sewist. She just started sewing after they had their baby recently and she's been making a lot of baby clothes and household stuff and gifts for her family and stuff. And he was like, she would be so envious of all this fabric that you have. He's like, she can never come here and see this. And um, I said, well, hey, do you think she'd be interested if I de-stashed, would she be interested in some pieces of my fabric? And he's like, oh yes. He goes, she would be interested in anything. She loves all styles of fabric. She loves any colors. She loves to use it to make stuff for people or make stuff for us around the house and sew for the baby. And he said, you know, she would go out and buy as much fabric as you have. We just don't have the money to do it. And um, he said, so she would really be appreciative if you gave her anything. So I've decided I'm going to de-stash. Um, that's on my plan for this weekend. I'm going to do a giant de-stash of some of my smaller pieces, some of the pieces that I've kind of outgrown, and stuff that I just know that's been sitting there forever and I'm never going to use it. I'm going to pass it on to her because I think she's someone who will really appreciate it and, you know, just be thankful and grateful and do something with it. So that's a big thing that's on my agenda for this weekend. And that's going to be hard because I've already been through one D stash. So the fact that I'm going to have to let even more go after it was saved from the last cut. Um, yeah, that's going to be tough, but I'm a big girl. I can do it. I can do hard things. Okay. Is there anything else? I did not check on what the question of the week was because I slack at that kind of stuff. I haven't been, I don't get on Facebook very much. And I always forget because I just will randomly go, oh, I think I'll stop and do a video. And then I haven't done any preparation work whatsoever. But um, I just appreciate you guys tuning in. I am very close to 2,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you will. And I hope that you'll leave me some comments and tell me, you know, just talk to me about anything. It's just great to hear from people. Um, that's all. That is all. I will catch up with you after I have sewn some stuff next week in the cool weather, hopefully. And um, I'll see you again on the next Friday Sews. Bye now.